Hello, I am back with more stuff from Animations Film Festival. Man, I wish I could shut up about it, but I can't because it was that amazing of an experience. Previously, we talked to Momoro Hosoda, and now we got some special content from superstars from the animation industry, like the French director Patrick Imbert, Jeff Rowe, the writer of Gravity Falls, Phil Lord, producer of so many animated films, and the quirky Ryan Call Levi. Uh, 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 no, no, no. Uh, all right, all right. Well, well, check it out. Hi, this is Shukai's host of Grand Key Gathering, and I am Kevin. I am here, I am here with Jeff Rowe and Phil Lord. And you guys are here showcasing Mitchells and the Versus Machines, yes? yes. Facts. Yep. Yeah. All right, awesome. Yes. <laughs> so, I have seen the film for myself, and I see a lot of similarities uh, between. Uh, your previous film, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Was that a creative choice or was it just like, uh, or is this, did you have like a 2D rendered uh, pre-production of the Mitchells versus of Machines? So this is made at the same studio as Spider-Verse and using some of the technology that we developed for that movie, but we adapted it and grew it and developed the technology and made it even more powerful to do what Jeff and Mike Rianda, the directors wanted, which was a completely idiosyncratic hand-drawn look that felt like the movie had been drawn by an 18-year-old film student. <laughs> yeah, I think after Spider-Verse came out, like it, it kind of kicked the door open on what's possible in animation and what films could look like. And the idea of doing something that didn't feel uh, new or innovative felt like it would be taking a, a step backwards. So uh, they, they kind of, we, we get to stand in their shadow uh, uh, proudly, uh, which is nice. Uh, I wouldn't say a shout out, I would say an <laughs> extension of why Sony no, Pictures Entertainment. Ask in our glow, in yeah, the glow of our that's life. Better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cranky Gathering Shukai host Kevin, and uh, I am welcomed by Patrick Kember. And I believe you're the director for the uh, movie that's debuting tonight, Summit of the Gods, yes? That's it, Summit of the Gods. All right, awesome. Can you, uh, since none of us have, uh, to, for all of our audience out there, can you give us a little synopsis of what Summit of the Gods is going to be about? This is the story about a uh, um, uh, uh, photojournalist that tried to um, <laughs> to catch a scoop about uh, uh, who reached the summit of the Everest first. And uh, doing this, he will have to uh, to find uh, a guy, Mr. Hughes Klimber, that uh, disappeared many years ago, and that might have the proof of this uh, 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 who did it. And uh, and uh, by uh, searching this guy, that will lead him to, uh, uh, I mean, higher than what he thought first. Awesome. I am pretty sure you are honored to be the very first movie to kickstart Animations Film Festival. Well, I'm really happy. And you know, that is funny because uh, I came here a few years ago for the first edition of the festival with a movie called Big Bad Fox. And now I am here again. It's a kind of uh, regular rendezvous. Uh. All right, it's great. Welcome back to Animations Film Festival. I just have one fun question for you. If you had any live action movie you could, you could animate, what movie would that be? Ah. Sorry? Uh, oh no, I wouldn't do that. No, 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 no definitely not. I, I, I would like to do something that has not been done before. I am here at the last day of the Animation Film Festival 2021, and I am here joined by... Uh, Ryan Colt Levy, hi. And I believe you're showcasing for the latest movie edition of My Hero Academia World's Hero Mission, yes? And you are voicing... Oh, uh, I'm the English voice of Rhodey Soul. So, and that is a new character that's coming up in the Boku no Hero movie. So I just want to ask you, uh, you are, um, I just want to ask you for your previous career, how does it feel to be part of some of the major franchises that you are in right now, such as Frank Grand Order, obviously My Hero Academia, and so much more major franchises within this recent years? It's been very surreal. I'm honestly just incredibly grateful and humbled and, and excited. And yeah, it's an honor. It's, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. <laughs> That's great to hear. And all, uh, of course, while you uh, voicing the new character from the My Hero Academia movie, was there some something that's unique about this character, or something that you resonated with this character, or uh, were there any troubles or like difficulties that they overcome while voicing this character? Ooh, well, I had to let go of my inner fanboy because I love the show so much that I had to like separate that in the booth, you know, when I was recording. Yeah, of course. Um, but other than that, it was amazing because the character had so much actual 
we had so many similarities in weird ways. And I think people will see when they see the dub as well, who know me will be pretty surprised. Yeah, it's, it's, it was a unique gift that I got this role. All right, and here, uh, thank you so much for your answer. That was very enlightening. We will be here to watch uh, My Hero Academia, World's Hero Mission. You have any messages out there for the fans that's gonna be watching this movie soon? Oh man, I think the most important thing is to be good to each other, spread love and kindness, and know that you can all be a hero in the smallest or largest of ways, truly. All right, great, thank you so much. Wow, that was a lot of talent in such a short video. Um, obviously, they've been working in the animation industries for quite some time now, and it is such an honor just to talk with them and hang out. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, smash the like button, and always look forward to more content like this from Shukai. Grand Geek Gather